Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial about Occupancy Simulation Model Software OSM. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about one project that I did and I integrated that into OSM on the side to draw and extract justified graphs in a semi-automatic way so first of all if you're not familiar with the concept of justified graphs and you're just looking for human behavior simulation you can completely ignore this video because this is a project on the side and is not related to the main idea of occupancy simulation model but if you're interested you can watch this video so this is a graph on the screen that you can see which represents the uh, connections between different spaces. I'm going to zoom on uh, this area and then you can see that this is a patient room and this is a bathroom and these two spaces are roughly convex and uh, they are directly accessible to each other which means that there is a door in here so I'm representing this space with a node and this space with a node and this representation doesn't have anything to do with the place of the node I can actually go ahead and change the uh, convex space this node and put it somewhere else I can put it in here or I can put this one in here I just noticed that I have actually selected two different nodes or you can just move them around but what is important actually is the way that these space these spaces are connected let me just get rid of this point in here this convex space all right okay so um a justified graph is actually a way of understanding how much one space is away or accessible from all the other spaces. So I'm going to actually select this point from the entry. You can see that this point is actually directly accessible to another space, another space, and this space, and these connections are all there. So we have in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different layers of connectivity. Of, of connections sorry connectivity was not a good word and uh, so we can actually justify the graph from another location so let's say from here at the center and you can see that the number of connections are actually much less this is one two three four layers of connections you can in here actually this is automatically drawn for you you can in here change these uh, locations of these guys and then you can change them horizontally or you can change them freely in a way that you like okay so this is what um, uh, a justified graph means originally introduced by space syntax people in their own software which is called depth map and they have many softwares but this is one of the famous ones they have a way of analyzing that and I'm going to do that with the purpose of introducing the concept in a deeper layer so if you want to do that in depth map first of all you create a new map and you import your CAD file and uh, or uh, or whatever type of file that you have well if you're working with Beam or Revit, it might be a tedious task for you to create this file because their software doesn't like SP lines and other types of complex curves. And uh, once you have created that and you have imported your map, you have to go ahead and create a new type of map, which is in this case a convex map. And then uh, what you need to do is actually draw your polygons inside the uh, spaces manually. So this is, for instance, one polygon that I was talking about, and this is another one, which is the connected bathroom to the patient room. And then you can link these two spaces with each other pretty much like this. Well, I'm actually ignoring all of these, and I'm just doing this part. And uh, uh, this is going to be a very laborious, time-consuming, and error-prone process. And... Uh, and uh, it's not only in here difficult it's in OSM it's also difficult so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back uh, with the completed plan all right when you're done with this uh, process you can in the space syntax software you can go to the 
and run your type of analysis and then you will get different types of uh, results for connectivity integration, depth map, mean depth and node count. This, these uh, types of analysis are actually algorithms that the space syntax theorists have developed in order to uh, measure some spatial qualities. And um, But in here at least you cannot do the justification of the graph visually. So uh, uh, I was asked to integrate that in Space Syntax software, and sorry, in OSM software, and I did so. So uh, for the rest of this video, I'm going to show you how you can draw that in in OSM. All right. To start from scratch, I'm going to uh, I'm going to reset the convex map that we have already, and then I'm going to create a convex map. You would be prompted with a message which says that select the con center of convex spaces, and you start putting nodes in the center of the convex spaces, and uh, um, this is also a time-consuming process. But I'm guessing that is not it's not as time consuming as drawing the polygons. Well I'm going to consider this area as one convex space, this area as another one, this one and as as another one, and this area as another one, and this one as another one. And then once you're done, you just hit this button in here and it will draw the first guess, which is obviously not, not very accurate, specifically if the plan is very complicated. So you have to edit that. And uh, let's just start the edition by removing the connection. I may actually run the video some uh, uh, faster because this is going to be a very time consuming process. All right, now we can add some more connections and uh, to add some connections I will go ahead to the edit menu again. So I'm guessing that this space should be connected to this node, this space and uh, um, uh, maybe this node needs to be connected to this node, this node may needs to be connected to this node this node needs to be connected to this node. This is obviously not correct. And uh, I'm going to get rid of that connection. And uh, I'm going to continue adding uh, new connections. And uh, uh, this space, this hallway is connected to this hallway. So we have this connection as well, this connection this connection and this connection. So I guess we are pretty much done and now you can just uh, pick a node and then justify your graph. Let's say uh, from this nursing station we justify the graph and see how it looks like. Well, this is the way that it looks like one, two, three, four, five different layers. In each layer their number of spaces are different and that's why the space syntax software has different types of measuring. You can actually hide this uh, uh, type of connection from the view or you can just dispose it by clicking the reset button. Well I hope you find it useful and uh, uh, you enjoy taking advantage of that being done in a semi-automatic way for you. See you later.